dear students and working accountants welcome to my smart tally prime class youtube channel till the last video we have discussed everything about tally and everything about creating a company and all other related matters creating a company alter company uh, change company quit company or i mean shut, shut company or delete company and also group companies everything we learned we completed our next step is to record the transactions or the data in tally prime see here when you created the when you downloaded and activated the license of tally prime the next step is we have to work with that that means we have to work with the, some company that is with some organization so for that we created the company so many companies we created some companies are migrated from tally airplane everything now we have to work with the companies we have to work with the companies means we have to work with the companies means we have to enter the data or we have to enter the transactions in the company where you will enter so company entering a data or recording the transactions means so all these transactions will have two aspects that means two accounts they are called ledgers in tally so there will be two ledgers for every account every transaction one account one transaction I mean one account or ledger will be debited ledger means ledger account nothing but so one ledger account is to be debited one ledger account is to be credited sometimes more than one also but both these sides debit and credit should be equal that we have to do so now how we can record so you require for recording we require ledger accounts simply ledgers so we record the ledgers so in this session we are going to learn how to create ledger accounts i mean ledgers how to create ledgers so now we will share the screen we will share the screen we see here and while creating the ledgers there are two methods to create the ledgers that is creating each ledger separately that is one ledger after another that is one after another one by one one by one we can recreate the ledgers it is called creating single ledgers that is each ledger is separately created that's why it is called single ledger creation sometimes we can create sometimes we can create many ledger accounts at a time it is called multi ledger creation we can create multi ledgers also so creating one ledger at a time or creating multi ledgers at a time so there are two types so we are going to learn today how to create single ledgers and how to create multiple ledgers how to create multiple ledgers that we are going to learn today so wait one minute and i am our uh, topics i am opening and i am opening tally also i am opening tally also in this tally i will show you everything and this is a very important this is the first step in recording the transactions in recording the transactions okay then you, you key carefully you see carefully and you practice carefully then you can create many accounts you can delete them again i will show you next topic is deleting and all these things today how to create two types that is in both the ways one is creating single ledgers and another is creating multiple ledgers and in this case all the ledgers can be created one by one and the single ledgers can be created or sometimes we can create multiple ledgers also but i will tell you which is better i mean for some accounts single creating single ledger is better for some accounts for some ledgers and for some ledgers other ledgers you can create multiple ledgers that means many ledgers at a time you can create in case of some ledgers and some ledgers generally there will not be any problem in future also that is why we have to uh, create them one by one individually also individually only so that we are get now we are taking now see here so yesterday we completed up to so grouping of ledgers they go through this grouping once again because this grouping is very important okay now here first of all we learn 
creating single ledgers, ledger accounts. Example, capital account, Krishna traders, data or data, bank account, sales account, purchase account, Rama Enterprises, either debtor or data or data, salaries account, rent account, all expenses. These are all these, these are all personal accounts, and capital account is also personal account related to the proprietor. Sales account and purchase account also related to goods, but we take them as nominal accounts. Salaries and rent also is his nominal account, that is expenses and incomes. Okay, now we have to create the single ledger. Then we will go for multiple ledger. So I am closing, uh, minimizing this. Okay, now we will go to this one. So we will go to Tally Prime. In this case, it is, it is taking some time because of uh, net problem. If net is slow, it seems today. That is why it is taking some time. Wait, wait one second. It will open now. You have to learn very well. You have to follow the videos fully. That is every video from beginning to ending. You have to follow this one. And I, I before it load, I, there is one request for you. Please, you subscribe my channel. You subscribe my channel and click the bell icon besides that and select all so that you will get notification for all the videos whenever my video is coming live. So you will get a notification and share with your friends because whoever is whoever requires accounting training or working accountants, whoever it may be, you can share with them and while watching the videos, you watch the videos fully from the beginning till the end. Otherwise, if you skip the videos, you will lose the, and you will not understand the matter which you skipped. Okay, that's why you see the videos, watch the videos fully, and then you post, I mean, you click the thumb, thumb button, means you like the videos, you like the videos, and then definitely you post your comment in the comment section so that I can understand how you are receiving is there any problem? Whatever problem you have, or whatever thing you require, any doubts, you can post the comments. If you have a doubt also, I can clarify. If you have a doubt or if you get doubt, you see the video once again. Again, and you practice many times. Even then, if you have some doubts, you can post them in the posting, I mean, comment section. You post a comment, then I will definitely answer there. If Many people are asking these doubts. So all these doubts, I will take up one day and I will make a video clarifying all the doubts of all the people so that I can do that. Because unless you post a comment, I can understand your problems. Okay, now see here, going to here, opening in education mode because we have education mode only. Opening education mode and now see here, see here, when the tally is opened, directly we will go to select company base. We made the setting there. Previously, one company will load default. By default, 1,000, 10,000. Here, you see member company one, 10,000. So 10,000 company number, company will load by default. Again, we have to press Alt 3, F3. Alt F3 and we have to come to select company. That adjust, I mean, the setting we made in the help section, as well as either here or in the open file location page also. You can make the setting anywhere, anywhere, any of the two. So then directly the select company page will open. So because we can select any company we want. So I, I am selecting the which one last time created. That is Venkatesh Rai Enterprises. When you click, see here, when, sorry. When you click the company, so which we selected, you click, means you double click with the mouse or select that and make enter and press enter. So in this case, when you select company and make select company, then it will be loaded directly in the gateway of Tally. So you can, again, you can go back and you can select another company like that. Any number of companies you select so that they will be loaded in the gateway of Tally and all the list will be shown here. The latest 
company which you selected that will be active and that will be highlighted on the upper side so in the lower part all the companies we selected will be shown and the company which you are going to working now so that will be shown on the upper side it will be highlighted so relating to that they will show the accounting period and the date on which we are working and what is the date of last entry so the last time when we entered any make entry and that also will be shown okay this is now here when we have to make entries means we have to make the entries now see here for making entries also here there are in the gateway of tally it is divided into four parts one is masters number two transactions number three utilities utilities number four reports so masters transactions utilities reports all these we will know one by one first we will take up masters because we have to create the masters first and with the help of the masters we can make all the entries so first we will take the masters and all these items have sub items there are many sub items also many topics inside each one so inside masters create alter chart of accounts and transactions vouchers paybook banking i mean utilities banking reports balance sheet profit and loss account stock summary ratio analysis display more reports not only these four reports you display more reports so these are the topics in this first we will take up master so in this masters we will take up and in this masters we have to create the ledgers when you are creating the ledgers i told you ledgers can be created in two ways one is creating individual ledgers that is single ledgers separately another one is creating multiple ledgers at one time so first we will take up creating single ledgers that is each the each ledger individually for that we use create button for multiple ledgers we use chart of accounts that, that with the help of chart of accounts we use multiple ledgers for creating single ledger we use create button but for alteration of the ledgers we use alter button alteration or delete okay first we will take up create that is first we create single ledgers so if you press create you see here so while creating the masters that is we are creating we are going working with masters in that masters we are clicking clicking create button so if you click create button see on masters there are many types of masters accounting masters inventory masters statutory masters and statutory details and all this are there so one by one we will learn all this but first of all we will take accounting masters we have to enter the first simple transactions after that we can have inventory transactions gst transactions all this we will enter one by one you follow my videos as in the same order which i upload that is every day i am uploading one one today one telugu video the same video in english next day like that every video will be in two languages telugu and english and all these will you follow in the same order because i am taking the making the videos in a systematic way one then two then three like that so instead of after one if you go to five you cannot understand same that's why you follow the my channel you follow the videos in a systematic way as i upload the videos so here first accounting masters will day after that inventory masters na statutory master so in this inventory masters first of all group group means already i told you na already groups are created by the software by default group total 28 groups isn't it in that primary groups and secondary groups okay but in addition to that if you want any other group you can create isn't it actually there is no necessity all the groups are covered there suppose if you want to create a new group that it will be useful here it will be useful here accounting masters create you are in the create button so accounting masters group we can create if you want but this is not actually required so we are first our task is we have to select we have to select ledger so ledger we are going to create ledger we get we are going to create so here if you click this one so this is called we are creating the ledger here ledger creation ledger creation okay this here we can create the ledger this is creating of one single ledger this page allows you to create ledger creation page allows you to create only 
one account, individual account. Okay, here I will tell you in there, this one. I gave some examples. For example, capital account. Capital account. Where is capital account? Here. So here we'll write capital account. See here, first letter should be uppercase, but we need not type uppercase. Just you type all lowercase, automatically it will take the first letter of every word, it will take capital. So capital, then account, C, A by C. So A became capital. Capital account or simply you can write totally capital account. So had it. So this capital account we have to take or simply capital it is better. Short form. Short form is better. Capital account. Okay. So capital account had written. Here, one thing to be noted here is capital account is the capital of the one relating to the proprietor. So here we can simply write capital account or we can write proprietor's capital account or we can write the name of the proprietor. X, for example, X capital account. So we can write with the name or simply you can write proprietor's capital account or simply capital account. This is in the case of a single proprietor. It is called proprietary concern or sole trader. In that case, we can write the three, any of the three, either proprietor's capital account or name of the cap, name of the person and capital account, then simply capital account. Next type is partnership. If there are more than one owners, they are called as partners. In that case, simply if you write capital account, whose capital? How to identify? That is why for each capital, we add the name X capital, Y capital, Z capital like that. that is in the case of partnership. In the case of a giant stock company, there will be no single owner or some owners. So it is contributed by many people in the world. That is why it is called share capital. It is not capital account. It is called share capital. Okay. So here, that we have to take. And then for every ledger, there will be alias. That is the nickname. So for that alias, we learn about alias after some time. Okay, leave that. And then come under, under means under which group we have to place the capital account we are creating. Under which group we have to place. I told you in the grouping of ledgers on the liability side, the first one is capital account. Under the capital account, proprietor's capital account, partner's capital accounts, share capital, and also drawings. When the proprietor or owner gives to the company, it is held as capital account and if he withdraws anything from the company for his personal use it is called withdrawal account or drawings account so these drawings also related to the owner that is why it also comes under here drawings account will create but card group will be capital account only and this after that you forget all this and one thing i'll tell you i will do one thing because all this uh, features not required I will just I will disable all those things. We have not yet uh, touched that features. So here, create a ledger. Here we are taking. So here, capital account. Capital account we created. It comes under capital account only. It has come. Because it is by default, it is given because Tally knows that when the business is started, the first entry will be capital because the owners will provide the capital. Capital account. And after that, capital account, capital account. And then here, state for this capital account, capital account is related to owner only. But for capital account, state is given or not given. It is not required. So if you already, it is by default, it is there. So leave it, it is. And then India, country. Country is India only. It is by default in that software, it is fixed by the software. If the software is sold to other countries, the software company, that is Tally Solutions Private Limited, they will fix that country's name there. So that is fixed there. And PIN code. So we can give Telangana PIN code. See, in this state Telangana, in Tel our place, where is our place? 72. So for example, it is the PIN code. And then all others, OK. Now you can go after this. You can go till the end when it is shows accept or after this we can click we can click control a control a means save accept so till the end if you go on clicking enter at the end it will ask you accept yes accept question do you want to accept but here simply before that control a it will accept okay so after creating the ledger one ledger again the 
page will be the same page. It will be in the same page, ledger creation, allowing to create some other account. So it will not go anywhere. So in the create button, only it will, we can create the company's own, anything we can create only. So after creating, it will be there itself and it will go to the first column again to create another account. So we will see another one. See here, capital account we created. Then for example, Krishna traders. So we will create Krishna traders account. Krishna traders account. This already exists. Okay, I will, I will, I will use it. Raghu traders account. For example, Raghu traders account. I have taken nickname so that we will take later. Now it comes. What are which grow? Raghu traders means is a personal account. He might be a seller to us. That is, we bought goods from him or we sold goods to him. For example, the business is started. First time we will buy. So we bought goods from him. If we buy goods from a person, we have to pay. So when he is supplying to us, he is a creditor to us, isn't it? Creditor. So all the creditors collectively called as Sunday creditors. So the group name is Sunday creditors. If he is uh, a, we are buying from him, then we have to take it as Sunday creditors. If you are selling to him, he is a Sunday debtor. So we will call as Sunday debtors account. Here it is. We are buying. So he is Sunday. If you just type first letter yes. So all the yes, all the accounts starting with yes, they will be shown in blue, highlighted. Or if you type another one, next one letter also, yes, you. And then it will be shortened, only yes, you. Very short list will be displayed. And with the help of arrow, down arrow, up arrow, we can select. So this is Sunday creditor with that. He is a seller to us because we are buying. So Sunday creditors, we are taking and all other things. Okay, this is also there. Okay, leave it off. So that is also not required. Don't bother about these two. Okay. Now, after this, here, you come here. Here, Raghu Traders name is come. Whatever is created, it will come here. Here, we have to write his address. Raghu Traders will have address. So in this case, for example, Amir Pet, I am writing. We have to write full address there. So it is written there. And the state. So where is this person? In this case of personal account, except proprietor, that is except capital, all other personal accounts means either a sundry debtors or sundry creditors. In the sundry debtors and sundry creditors, state is compulsory. Sometimes it is by displaying Telangana by default. Sometimes it will show not applicable. Not applicable, there is no state. But we have to select the state. We have to select the state. Suppose it is showing not applicable. See, it is showing not applicable. It is the, by default it is showing not applicable. But we have to take we have to select that day, I mean, uh, uh, state. Definitely state is to be required. So ours is Telangana. So if you do T, so it will come. Telangana, Tamil Nadu, Telangana. Or if you say, if you type T, E also, the Telangana will come. Okay, second one. Telangana and state and pin code number is 50, 72 uh, taken. And then, you say, what you are See, we are given name and group. In addition to this, address and then a state and pin code and some more details are to be given here also. So, so many details are to be given in the case of a, I mean, personal account that is data and creditors, Sunday data and Sunday creditors. That is why, that is why it is better to create individual accounts and single accounts only for Sunday data and Sunday creditors. For other accounts, we can create we can create multiple accounts at a time. In that case, in the case of when you are creating multiple accounts, we have to give only name and group. Name and group. In that case also, sometimes same group, we can give only name, automatically the group will be taken. We have to give only name. In some other cases, we have to give name and group only. But in the case of these accounts, name, group, and uh, address, then state, pin code, and some other, other details means, G relating to GST, relating to GST. In the case of GST, we have to give him, give the, whether he is a regular dealer, what, what is type of dealer and what is his number. GST number is called GSTIN, GST identification number. That number, everything is given. And also, if there is any 
TDS. In that case, we have to give his PAN number also. But PAN number is included in the TIN number, I mean, uh, GS TIN number also. It is based on PAN number. So PAN number will be there. So we have to give all these details in the case of a personal account. That is why it is better to create single ledgers only for sundry data and sundry data. Now created, I made control A. So it is accepted. It is there. Now again, now, now we will go further. So account is created. Krishna traders, capital account is created. And then we will create bank account. We will create bank account. Since here the bank account, we will create some uh, union bank of India because other banks are already created. Uh, union bank of India. So name of the bank will come here. Alias, leave it off. Then under which group? I told you in the current assets, in the assets side of the balance sheet, and the current assets, the bank account will come. Current assets, Sunday creditors, I mean, Sunday data, stock in hand, Sunday data, stock in hand, cash in hand, cash on hand, cash on hand, bank accounts, all this will come, mini bank accounts. So this uh, Union Bank of India comes under bank account. So just be a type. So you see a bank accounts, OCC always come. So we have to select bank accounts. So we selected bank accounts, and then we have to give the details of the bank. So our company name, in the details means in the bank, we are the customers. So account holder is our company. Account holder, account numbers, type something. Actual number you have to give. IFSC code, SSS something. So IFSC code, it is wrong. When you are giving a wrong thing, official wrong, official thing, this is account number is private. This IFSC code, shift code related to banks. So we are giving some number. It shows message. The IFSC code is wrong. In, invalid IFSC code. But if you enter again, it will take, but it shows, it says, it shows us it is wrong. And yes, shift code, so something we do. Okay, that's also displaying it is wrong. So bank name is, is showing us not applicable because already bank name is given. Actually, in the case of license software, this bank name again, we have to enter here. When the cursor goes there, when the cursor goes there, here, when the cursor goes there, immediately on the right side, the list of banks will be displayed. I told you some advanced features will not be available in education version. So it will, they will display all the banks. They will display bank list. In this case, if you they yes, if you type that they have state bank of India, it will say all the state bank of India list. Or if you take some other name, all the list they will show. So here it is given not applicable. Branch. Where is the branch? For example, I will take Amir Pet branch. Okay. So like that, all these other options we will learn later. Here, here also, Union Bank of India, we can give, it is also Amir Pet, full address. Amir Pet, we'll give full address, state Telangana, and the pin code, Amir Pet, 5 lakhs 37, 35, for example. 5 lakhs 35, we have taken. And then, after that, you select, I mean, uh, accept it, control A. So it is accepted. So bank account is it. Then, okay, capital account, creators account, then sales and purchases. Sales and purchases, I think it is already available there. They are already created. In the same way, here, sales account you will write. So, sales account already exists. He is asking, say some, select some name. So, if you take sales account here, so under, under then it will come to under group. Under group, all the sales, sales returns, they come under sales account. All the purchases and purchase returns, they come under purchases account. I told you in the group, profit and loss account, purchases on the debit side, purchases, direct expenses, indirect expenses. On the credit side, sales, sales returns, income. Then direct incomes, indirect incomes. So this is the thing. So sales will come under sales account. Here, we have to select sales account only. And all others, we just skip and control A, we will accept. Then purchases. Purchase accounts also will come. So here, purchase account, see here it is not saying. So it's, oh, purchase is not fully done. Purchases, so it is showing name already exists. So in the take purchases account, the group will be purchases account only. The number is purchase. Here, different types of purchase may be there. Purchases at 18% rate tax. Purchase at 12%, purchase at 5%. Like that, you can give different names for different taxes. But everything comes under 
one account only that is one group that is purchases account so purchase accounts it will call so different purchases so it come group will take as purchase accounts then click control a so it will be accepted that is over and after accepting again it will go back there so it will be in the same page next one is next one is we will take up some uh we have taken sunday data now we will take up sunday data raghav rao for example raghav rao so first of all we take a krishna traders sandy creator now we are selling to raghav rao when we are selling to raghav rao he is becoming a data to us so in this case this group will be sandy data yes you if you click comes sandy data and then accept control a accept over so it is completed so personal accounts bank account purchase sales with data now we will create expenses for example salary is there uh postage expenses if you take because others are already created expenses so so postage postage expenses so it is called alias later and under group postage expenses means i told you in the profit and loss account all incomes and expenses they come in the profit and loss account that is trading and profit and loss account I told you all direct expenses in all direct expenses indirect expenses on the credit side all direct incomes and expenses will be on the debit side all expenses will be on the credit side here postage expense means it is expenses it is called expense on the debit side but if the expenses are related to production it is called direct expenses they are not related to production if they are if spent in office there are office expenses in this case they are called indirect expenses so postage expenses is indirect expense so we take it as indirect ind if you read this the expenses will be shown twice in two different ways indirect expenses expenses indirect indirect incomes incomes indirect so we take generally we take only indirect expenses so indirect expenses are taken and then click control a it is saved so an expense we have taken now we will take up uh, for example uh, interest received interest received because we have invested somewhere or we have given loan to some others they will pay interest so in such a case it is income to us so interest received under which group it comes it is income so interest received is not related to production it is only indirect so this is income but indirect income so you take it as ind indirect income direct expense indirect expense you are taken now we are taking indirect income if it is wages for example it will take just direct expense so here we will take then save control a so it is save so like this we will check up any other account to be created no so all this we have completed salary account rent account and already available so we have taken some other income we have taken expense we have taken okay so like this we have to create all the accounts so we have to we can create individual accounts like this one by one call multi single accounts but we can create single accounts or multiple accounts for all this but for the personal accounts sundry data sundry data this creating single ledgers is only the best option it is the only best option okay so in this case what we are giving we are giving group other for personal accounts we are giving name group and many other details we are giving but all other expense all other other ledgers we are giving name group and after that we are saving okay like this we are doing so now we created what we did now we completed we created all the what you call we created the single ledger account ledger is on ledger or ledger account are same so we created single ledger account understand how to create so how we will do is first of all go to gateway of tally select the company go to gateway of tally first we are take will take up masters all these others will learn. in the masters we are creating so click create button in the create button there will be many masters accounting masters statute details statute some other the masters will be there but we are doing with accounting masters in the accounting masters group has already created if you require you can create otherwise not possible not necessary so leave it the next one is ledger now our task is creation of ledgers only so click that ledger 
and select now ledger creation page will come. Also, here we are either this or that next, I will tell you later. Okay. So this is the method of creating method of creating single ledgers. So with the help of create button, because it will allow you to create one ledger once. It will allow the create ledger button. After creating again, it will go back. So we can create only one ledger there. So with the help of create button, we can collect all the single ledgers. Single ledgers individually. Now, if you want to create multiple ledgers, many ledgers at a time, not one time, one ledger one time, many ledgers at a time you can create. In such a case, that is called multiple ledgers, creating multiple ledgers. So to create the multiple ledgers, this create button is not useful because it allows to create only one. That is why what you do is now here we will go to chart of accounts. With the help of chart of accounts only, we can create multiple accounts. So single ledger, create multiple ledgers, chart of accounts, click now. Now it goes, we are going to create, we are going to create ledgers only. Chart of accounts also, we are taking help of that chart of accounts for creating the ledgers. So select either single or chart of accounts, take multiple ledgers, you take ledgers only here. Okay, now the total list is given. Our total list is given. So in this list already, we created single ledgers. So all these ledgers under which group we created, under the particular group, they are shown. You see, in the capital account, we are taken capital account and proprietor's capital account also there. Proprietor's capital account. Uh, yesterday we created. And now in the Sunday creators, we had Andhra traders we created, Sundry Krishna traders, Krishna traders account, Raghu traders, all these we created. All these are Sunday creditors. And then a profit and loss account is already a default one. And then go to expenses. See, indirect expenses we, we created many. And purchases account we created. And indirect uh, incomes, we created some commission received, discount received, interest received, and sales account. All these are created already. So whether as a single ledger, what whether you create single ledger or multiple ledger, all these will be displayed here. Now we want to know how to create multiple ledger. So list is there. How to create multiple ledger means we have to go see on the right side. This is called right button menu. Right button menu. You see last one. Alt H. Alt H. Multi masters. Creating masters. So multiple masters you are creating. So it is called multi masters. It is multi masters. What you are doing? Multi masters. Create or do some other thing. That will show. So here we have to go to multi masters on the right button menu. So click this multi masters with mouse or click Alt H. If you Alt H, we can do Alt H, you can do or we can create multi masters. So anything you do. Now it will come another page. Multi masters list. Multi master list means multi create, multi art. Multi create means create multi masters. They are only multi create, multi is there. There, what is there? Multi masters is there. It is click. What to do? Multi masters create or multi casters alter. That is called multi create. So click multi create. So now this is the page. There, create only one way, one ledger in that page. But here, here see, you can create any number. So here, under group, it is there. So we have to group, give the group here. If you give all items here, that is all groups. And here, give the name of the ledger, give the group. Give the name of the ledger, group. Suppose, in the case of these ledgers, I have given one list also. See, I have given one list because in that, what are different accounts and which under which group they fall. See, purchase account, which falls on purchase account. Sales account, sales account. Telephone expenses, indirect expenses. Similarly, Radhika Enterprises, Sunday Data, Audit Reviews, indirect expenses, State Bank of India, bank account. Like that, many names, name of the accounts and the group under which they fall. It is there. In this case, each one we have we can enter here. Each one we can enter here. But here, if some ledgers, some ledgers fall under the same cat, I mean same group. For example, see telephone expense here from here. This one, this one. This one, this one, this is income. Indirect expense, indirect expense. This is indirect expense. Here also indirect expense. There are so many indirect expenses. 
given. Okay, in such case, you need not type everyone and every type, you need not type the group. Here in that case, here if you give, what is that? What is that? You see, indirect expenses. Indirect expenses. Here, you see, first of all, what is here? What is given here? No, oh, sorry. Multi select, create. Here, all items are given. Here, if you are clicking, nothing is happening. Here is what you have to do is anything if the it is like that. If you want the total list of the accounts here, not only here, anywhere, just if you press space bar. If you press the space bar, the list will come. So now here we have to put the name of the group. So list of groups is given. So what you are doing now, which one you are going to do? All the indirect expenses are taken first because there are many. So in this case, only if you give the account name, that is expense name, then directly, automatically, this ledger group will be taken. That's how to do that. Here we have to take, where well, now we are going to take only all indirect expenses. So indirect, if we take indirect expense, if we select indirect expenses, now whatever you enter name of ledger, it will take under automatically this indirect ledger, indirect expenses will come here. So for example, here, here, indirect, what is that indirect? Telephone expenses, telephone expenses, sorry, tele, telephone expenses. Okay, telephone expenses automatically is given. Indirect expenses here number two. Then I'm, I'm already telephone expenses is there. If you type full name, so it will show already exists. That's why I abbreviated that. Okay, next two after that again indirect way stationary. Just I will say stationary. That's all. So it will come see directly. It is taking automatically indirect expenses. It is taking indirect expense automatically. Next, go to the next one. The last column that we will come later. Tomorrow, next in the next video, we will come to that. Next stationary. And then commission traveling expenses. Just we can call it as conveyance. We can call it as conveyance. So indirect expense. Next number four. What is electricity charges? Commission received. That is income. So here, electricity charges. Electricity. Electricity, just indirect income expenses. Then here also audit fees. Audit fees. So audit fee. Sorry, we will give it as audit fees. Audit fees because audit fees already given. Audit fees, indirect expenses, so over. And then all indirect expenses over. One, two, three, four. This is one five. See, already five have come. So I completed. Now, all these indirect expenses are same belonging to the same group who have completed by giving the name, I mean group name there. So it automatically, this is taken, that group name is taken here automatically. So we're giving only, only account name, that is ledger expense name. We're giving only ledger. Ledger name, if you give, it, the group will be taken automatically. And hereafter, each one is different. Each one is different. In this case, we cannot give this one, isn't it? In that case, so each ledger will be will fall under the yeah, Now we have to do here, we have to take all items. See all items are there. If you give all items, now come here. So instead of see, we printed all items here, and then instead of coming here directly with mouse, you click here, automatically it will come here. Automatically, it will come. Okay. So, six, number six. Now, you can take different items. See, sales account is already there. Purchase account is already there. Or simply, simply we can take purchases. Purchases. So, here, purchase is already there. Purchases. I will, do, I will do one thing. Purchase account. So, it is not there. Purchases we give. Purchase account they have given. Under which group it falls? It calls under purchases only. Purchase account. Next to sales. Sales account if you give sales. It comes under sales account. So sales account they are taken. Then what is given there? Purchases sales. Then all indirect expenses are taken. Direct. This is direct, indirect income. That is commission received. So commission uh, Received and will get commission received. Actually, I will change it. Commission received. So under which column it falls? It is income, indirect income. So it is under 
indirect income to take indirect incomes then another one then direct expenses suppose carriage inwards carriage inwards carriage inwards means carriage means transport charges cottage and cottage carriage carriage transport charges for the goods carriage inwards means so goods coming into our business we are paying carriage charges is transport charges that is coming into business purchases when you purchase goods if you pay some transport charges it is called carriage inwards so inwards goods are carried by the transporter so it is called so when you are purchasing goods and paying the carriage expenses it will be direct related to the goods so it is direct expenses so direct expenses you have to take direct expenses okay then next number number 10 next direct expenses over radhika enterprise you have taken sunday credit as there here we will take up then we will take up radhika simply radhika it comes under sunday debtors so sundry debtors if you take sunday debtors then it will take see furniture account we will take machinery because furniture is already already there again machinery machinery you will take up so machinery means it is asset to us it is called fixed asset on the asset side first one fixed assets next after that investments so first one is fixed asset i have taken fixed assets similarly machinery or computer anything then is that the fixed assets that it is already over state bank of india bank account mm -hmm. i will take uh, for example i will take uh, iob indian overseas bank we will take up iob it comes under bank account bank account only and then andhra traders so it is already exists andhra uh, we will take up one, one minute i'll change it uh andhra enterprises andhra enterprises it is actually it is sunday creditors sunday creditors whatever it may be creditors if you take it is creditors if it is debtors we will take later after this okay completed now in previously what we are doing going on pressing enter till the end it will ask accept question mark but here there is no end because we can enter accounts like this for any number of vacancies so we will go on pressing it will go on giving numbers and say here so i accepting is accepting okay and then here after completing this after completing this we can enter this one send credit as and then we can press here we can press call control a we can press control a and after that so we are not entering this suppose here we are entering the name then it is going to that one and it is coming here again if we enter the name again it will come to the next line If without entering anything, if you press, it will ask you accept. It will ask you accept because sorry, sorry, it has become more. Okay, okay. Now, so we, it is asking accept. Even if you click Control A, it will accept. It will accept it. Okay. so it is accepted so all the ledger accounts we created so already some created in the telugu version we created some some accounts and now we created some accounts so all these accounts are available here you see all the accounts are available here okay now here if you want to we created the entries in two ways created individually and created with the help of the chart of accounts we created multiple ledgers but whatever it may be account will be different each account is a different account when give at the time to save the work we created multiple ledgers at a time that's why but the accounts are all one not related to each other so all are different only now if you want to see the letters see the companies you can do one thing see go to the alter page if the alter page is useful for alteration as well as deletion as well as display also it will see here when you are clicking this enter after creating one ledger again what is happening it is going to the name page name column and the ledger creation page is as it is it's not going to anything so you are not doing anything 
So, it, but in this case, alter it, 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 it serves three purposes display, alteration, as well as deletion, everything. So, if you click alter, so it will show what we created. We created ledgers. If you go to ledger, see all these we created now. All this we created now. And now we created, and in the last video also, we created all this. This is one method, alter. All the accounts will be displayed, whether it is created individually or whether they are created as a multiple ledgers. But each one is different, not related to each other. But for to save the work, we are creating multiple ledgers. So with the help of alter, we can see ledgers. We can see all the ledgers we created. Similarly, with the help of chart account or chart of accounts also, we can view all the ledgers. Here, if you click, if you click, if you click here, under the subheads, I mean, uh, correct, um, under, under the groups, the main group that is primary group, secondary group, under these groups, all the names are shown. See, we have to search under which group it is, under which group it is. Instead of that, directly, we have to search for the accounts, but directly, simply, in the case of create button, the alter button, all the list has come. Similarly, in this case, also, we can get the list, but here, with the help of that list of ledgers, we can see, we can view, we can view, not only there we create, we viewed only the name of the ledger, but here, not only ledger, under which group it follow, it falls, all the details will be named. And in the case of individual accounts, that is, uh, send data and create us, we give some more details, and all those details also will be shown for them by this one. How you will do that one is, in this case, that is, in the list of ledger, see on the other side, F5 ledger view. On the side button bar, F5 ledger view. F5 ledger view. So if you click that ledger view or click F5 simply, F5 simply, or you click here, ledger view. If you click, see, all the ledgers we saw there, all the created ledgers, all the ledgers along with group, along with other details, along with other details. So we have given only, in the case of personal accounts, in the case of personal accounts, we have given the state. So for all the expenses and incomes, we are not given any state. So in this case, nothing is showed. In the other cases, personal accounts, it is showing syndicate bank, it is showing Telangana, it is showing state also. And groups are displayed everything. This is shown. And in the case of personal accounts, whether you create, that is when you are creating individual ledgers, if you give more details, all these details also will be displayed here. If nothing is available, so it is showing only this. Whatever details is given, details we give, everything will be displayed here. For example, Andhra Enterprises are creating. See in this case, see here. Go to alteration, I will tell you. Andhra Enterprises. In this case, in this case, here, PAN number. For example, we have given this. This is wrong, but I am giving simply. So we have given PAN number. We have given PAN number. Not given to anyone. In this case only, I have given PAN number. In this case, uh, chart of accounts, if you go, chart of accounts, ledgers, go to ledger view. Ledger view. In this case, no, no, it's not given. Sorry. Only the, what you call, uh, PAN based, this what you call GST number is based on PAN, PAN number. So this GST number includes this PAN number also. The GST number will be displayed here. So it includes PAN number also. Simple PAN number, it is not including. Some other thing in, uh, takes, okay, not necessary now. Okay, like this, we can view chart of accounts, go to ledgers, then ledger view, you can see all the details, that is the ledger accounts, groups and state everything, all the details we have taken. But if you want to see only the, without names, if you want to see only groups also, we can see only groups. See, see here, F5 group U, only three, the original one, original one with the total list of ledgers, our accounts and list of ledgers will come ledger in the case of group U. If you click ledger view, ledgers details will come if you group, group you, our group details will come. Okay, ledger. And here you see, above this, F4, group 
F4. Simply click F4. Only see first one, our group, list of groups. Nah. So all the list, total 38, I mean, 28 groups, all the list will be coming here. So yeah, like this we can view. So we can view all these things. And next video, we can we will uh, we will know how to make alterations. These alterations can be made in the alter section. We can make in the ledgers, we can make any ledger, we can make. So in the alter section, we can make, and also in the chart of le chart ledger here also. So go to ledger view. So all the details are there. So whatever you want to change, so click that. The creating page will come. The individual page will come. Individual creator page. An individual page will come. Here we can make all right. That we take to take up tomorrow. Understand? So now, how we created? See in the create button, or in the with the help of chart of accounts in the chart of ledgers, we have taken multi masters and multi create. So with this help, we are. So here, here you see when you create. It is showing simply ledger when you are creating. It is showing ledger creation. This is ledger creation page. Say this is also called ledger creation page. Primary method means so we are creating in advance without making entries. In advance, we are entering, I mean, we are creating all the ledgers. So creating the ledger without making the entries. So making, I mean, uh, creating the ledgers in advance. Creating the ledgers in advance is called primary method, but it is not given here. Simply they give create ledger creation. We can call it as primary method. Where is the another method? Another method means, for example, another method is, so we are, you know, all the accounts, we create all the accounts, we started making entries. For example, when you are making entry, a new account has come. There is one new, suppose there is an expenditure. So we have not created account. So that expenditure had to pay. When you are making vouchers here, payment, we'll have payment cash, for example. In this case, here, we have to name the, what the amount paid, why you paid? We paid towards some expense. So here, if, if you click, if you want to say anywhere, if you want the chart and click the space bar, so the list of list will come, list of accounts, expenses, everything will be there. Then you can select that. If you see, see commission paid or commission, Received commission, you'll get payment commission. Conveyance, you see, if you key, see, conveyance will come, we can select because this is income. Like this, we can income. But if there is a new one, if there is a new one, in that case, you, you will not find, you will not get because you, you want to create. So in this one, that new one is not there. So what to do? Again, you need that. So we we'll go back to that gateway of tally. Again, click button. Ledger button, all this we have to do. Now, we need not do anything here. We need not do anything here. For example, in the voucher, payment, cash, here we have to create some account. Create some account that is called actually, uh, we do some account. Uh, postage is there. Courier charges, for example. So the courier charges account is not created. Courier charges account is not created. Now you have to create the courier charges. So you need not go back to gateway of tally. Here itself you can create. Here itself you can create. So in the voucher accounting, we are writing the voucher. Voucher we are creating. In the voucher itself, we can create the ledger account. That is ledger. How to how to do this? That will come later. Secondary method it is called. Click alter alter C. Yeah, alter C. It alter C. If you click alt C the same ledger creation account will uh, page will come but it is called this is secondary method see here see ledger creation secondary see the name ledger creation see, there only ledger creation that is first time this is ledger creation secondary in the course of making the entries are in the course of creating the vouchers see he, it is called accounting vouchers creation in the accounting voucher creation we are creating this ledger so ledger creation secondary method this will come later okay so these two types you can do okay now so primary method and secondary method for creating the ledgers understand now so this is about the creating the single ledgers as well as creating multiple ledgers so i am what i am doing is stopping the share 
screen share i am stopping now share okay so this is the topic for today creating of ledgers and creating a ledgers individual ledgers that is single ledgers and multiple ledgers you go through this and you practice many times by seeing the video again and again you will learn very well okay so again i am requesting you to please <laughs> subscribe to my channel every time i am telling you subscribe to my channel whoever have not subscribed yet once you subscribe again you cannot subscribe only once so subscribe this one and then uh, share i mean click the bell icon you will get and select all so you will get notification for all the videos which i make and then share with all others your friends also watch the video till the end and make it like the video and you post your comment about the video then only i can understand how you are receiving that are you following properly or not okay so with this we stop this and one more thing i forgot to tell you so we are creating the ledger accounts na we are creating ledger account. any ledger account we have to create only once and in this tally prime two ledger accounts ledgers are already by default they are created by the software one is cash another one is profit and loss account cash account and profit and loss account all the others we have to create only these two they are already created and when you are creating the accounts you have to create one each account once only again you cannot one account you cannot for example salaries account every month you are paying salary so every month you cannot you need not create salary account you need cannot create also if you create again second time it will show name already you see now so that is already existed so name already exists already name is there so take another name like that you cannot create second time one every ledger you have to create only once okay so with this our session is over so be careful and be happy and learn very well and you get expert to follow the videos as i upload one by one one by one in the same order in the same sequence you will learn expert knowledge okay with this we'll meet in the next video good night bye